Hey guys, and how's it going? Maniac Mower here. Um, last video you guys saw, I pulled the, I was talking about this patio that I had, the 69112, and we started getting into some of the painting, as you all can see. Um, we started painting the seat pan, and in a couple of spots we had some dirt that must have got on there when I was putting when I had this flipped over and I was wire reeling the bottom um, I must not have seen it on there so and then I also nailed this right here with the tripod getting it off the desk so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wire wheel this spot right here to get this out and we're also gonna do that right there this here I'm also going to wire wheel to get this off and then paint this again. Um, I probably should have painted underneath before I painted the top. So I'm probably going to do all that after I paint the bottom. This over here, clean this up and then it should be ready to paint. This side was easy to get it off. There's another, let me go around this side. There's another spot over here that kind of got beat up too I found right here this isn't as bad as over there but it's noticeable so we're gonna paint that over also so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on ahead and just flip this th this thing over and just start painting the bottom of it make sure it's cleaned up good before um I don't know I think that's pretty much it there was something else I wanted to say but I forget what it was so I guess we're gonna go on ahead and get into this flip it over and paint it I want to go on ahead and just wire wheel it first to get the this stuff off so I know that's done and ready so I'm gonna go on ahead and put you guys in the stand and do that is that better anyway so you want to get it so it's smooth. Now obviously when you go to repaint this, you're just going to want to paint the bare metal. You don't want to do everything else because this is all going to be shiny. Where this is going to be not smooth and dull. I'm not going to tape over any of this when I go to paint it. But I'm going to be careful to just paint this. And this little bit right here too. Other than that, it's pretty smooth. There's a few places that it's going to need to be fit touched up a little bit, but it's about perfect. So you guys get the idea on what to do. So I'm going to go on ahead and do the other side and I'll come back when I'm done. All right. So now we are on to tires. I've got all the rims painted and done. So we're going to go on ahead and get these front tires on, on here first. I'm going to get these are going to be tubed, they're not going to be tubeless, so we need to get this side through. This one already is, we've got it in the tire. I have never tried putting these tires on these rims, so I'm hoping that it will work.
All right, you guys, it was a pain in the ass, but I managed to get these tires put back together. So what I'm gonna do now is right now I'm waiting for a set of tubes. Once I get a set of tubes for them, I can put the tubes in and then get them inflated with air. So, I'm debating on whether I wanna paint the tires black or just leave them how they look. I had thought about it. I don't think I have enough black paint to paint tires. So, that's what I'm debating on for right now. I'm going to go on ahead and stop it here until I get the, t until I get the tubes. the hood yet but right there's the hood so that's the plan for right now we're gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna insert a picture here quick I threw everything on the patio just to see how it would look I I really like the white grill instead of the black grill I'll put a picture of it how it would look with the black grill and I'll compare them um, I think it just looks better with the white grill, to be completely honest with you guys. I just, I'm not a huge fan of it having the black grill. So, alright, back to this. I've got the headlights put in the bezel, and right here's the grill. I'm going to do some painting on it because there's a few spots that it shows that it needs painted. Other than that, We've got pretty much everything painted. One week left till Christmas. <laughs> Gonna be picking up a uh, sandblaster here later. So hopefully I can sandblast this. I've, it's gonna be one of the portable ones that don't go in a cabinet. I'm gonna have a cabinet one also, hopefully, if I end up getting them. I'm not gonna include this footage if I don't, so. All right, well, let's go on ahead and get going on this. 
All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and put this tube in that. I got my tubes in. I already put a tube in one tire, so I wanted to check and make sure that they fit all right. So let's go on ahead. I think I've got that on camera. Yes, I do. Okay. Let's go on ahead with this in here. Hey guys, and how's it going? Maniac Mower here. I uh, picked up a new project here a couple, day, a couple days ago. This is a 1970-112. Um, actually, it turns out that when I get a new tractor, I'll take them and I'll do research on them. I'll type in the model numbers and everything, the type numbers. It turns out that this is actually a patio. The guy told me it was from 70, it turned out, I looked at it, it turned out to be a 1969 112 patio. And I can show you the pictures. I looked at it online, I'll show you some, I'll put some pictures of that in the video, but I searched it up, I searched the type number up on it, I searched everything up about it. It's a 1969 112 manual lift, 